Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Graduate School of eLearning, or GSEL in short. As you may already know, we are the school that offers degree programs via the eLearning mode, which allows students to study through the internet. There are degree programs and training courses provided in our school. You may be interested in the e-learning or thinking about taking courses or applying for degree programs through e-learning mode of learning. However, you may not really know what it would be like since you may not have experienced this type of learning mode just yet. In this presentation, I will show you certain information about how you can learn through the e-learning, course activities and assignments, participation methods, interaction with friends and instructors, and lastly, how can you get help. It is hoped that by the end of the presentation, you will have a better idea about what the e-learning at GSEL is like. In traditional classroom, teaching and learning require your attendance and join the activities physically at the locations that you have to go to. In e-learning classroom, the place of learning is not physically but virtually. In general, there will be a web location that would link you to the learning place known as Learning Management System or LMS in short. At GSEL, we have developed and employ the LMS based on Moodle platform to deliver learning and teaching to our students. All of the learning process, lectures, activities, participations, and other academic activities would be done through the LMS. Within the system, you can learn, work on activities, and participate in the e-learning class the same as you would in the traditional classroom. In any courses, you would be expected to learn something. In traditional classroom, you are expected to show up in class and listen to the lectures from the course instructors. It is similar in e-learning classroom. You are expected to learn from the instructor via lectures or from other types of content as well. The course materials that we provide at the school can be in different formats, which are a video lecture, an audio lecture, a slide presentation with audio lecture, printed materials. All of the formats for the lectures conform to industry standards such as HTML5, Flash, QuickTime, and PDF. So, no matter what the computer system you are using, you can conveniently access the course content. From our experiences, students at the school take advantages of different media and learn according to what they prefer. For example, a student may be listening and watching the video lecture on a computer only. Another student may be printing out the handout of the slide presentation and watch the video lecture, whereas the other student may not watching the video lecture but download the audio version and listen to the lectures while doing other things or listen and taking notes on handout. All of the learning mode means that you can choose to learn in any mode and equipment that you are most comfortable studying. It is one of the advantages of e-learning that you can take. If you are studying in traditional classroom, this kind of choices would not be available. I also would like to mention that since all the content is pre-recorded, you can play and replay and control the lecture just like you can when you are watching movie or listening to music. As a result, you can choose to repeat the section that you are not clear as much as you can, as well as controlling the pace of the learning as much as you can. You cannot do this with traditional classroom. 
Besides lectures, in certain courses, you will have other materials that this instructor would provide to you to help your understanding of the subject content. Some of the materials can be in different form, such as video, reading materials, case study, or others. This flexibility means that the e-learning content allows the instructors to teach with materials that he or she feels that it is important in your own learning towards certain topics. As a result, you will not be stuck with only the teaching style of materials, which is the same for every course. Lastly, textbooks are also available in certain courses. If a textbook is required for the course, you can order the textbook and we can ship the textbook for you. You will know this in advance. In conclusion, learning course content in e-learning is not much different from traditional classroom. In fact, it may be more than traditional classroom since you will have control over the overall of the content, the flexibility of your learning style, and the pace of the lecture. All these are just for the course content. The e-learning at GSEL can also provide you more on other aspects of learning. It would be different if the coursework you take does not have any activities or assignments at all. Be it in a traditional classroom or e-learning, different course activities and assignments are to help you practice what you learn, as well as showing the instructors how much you know from the course. In the e-learning at GSEL, similarly to the course materials, you will have access to all course activities and course assignments in advance. Thus, you can plan ahead to organize your time so that you can study and work on the activities or assignments without interrupting your other activities. All of the course activities and assignments can be in different formats, and each would require you to do different things. This is strictly depending on the course content. In certain courses that you are studying concepts or theories, quizzes, paper reports, and other may be provided. In certain courses that require you to work on specific skills, you may need to work on projects, group work, or other tasks. Some of the activities and assignments that we have are the following but not limited to weekly quizzes, group assignments, issue discussions, live presentations. As you may see, there are several activities and assignments that can be done through e-learning. So, if you think or your friends think that studying in e-learning means just listen to the lecture and take the test, you can tell them that it is not true, just like a quality course in traditional mode. Our instructors can provide you with all of the beneficial activities and assignments that can help you further your understanding toward the course content. It doesn't matter if you are new to e-learning or you are a new experienced e-learner. In certain cases, you will have questions that you would like more explanation or questions regarding the technological problems. Studying is partly an activity that you need to proactively thinking about what you learn and understand. It is also the same in e-learning. If you have questions regarding the content that you need for further clarification, it is encouraged that you ask the question right away so that you don't forget. The LMS allows you to use different channels for asking questions or contacting the instructors, post in the class forum, private message to the course instructor, email to the course instructor, or call to the course instructor. All of the information is provided in the course that you register, so make sure that you check out the contact information. The e-learning relies on the technology to make the whole system in operation. In certain cases, students may have difficulty to access or use certain procedure that they may or may not be understood properly. 
In certain cases, you may not use the technology much to understand certain concept or software that you need. The GSEL provides technical help in a form of help desk. You can send your question to the help desk and a technician would later contact you and help you with the problems. Studying in e-learning does not mean that you need a degree in information technology to study. The e-learning is designed for everyone to be able to study. So we are happy to help you learn certain skills that can help you study in the e-learning easier. Whenever and whatever your question to what the course or the technology might be, the Graduate School of e-learning has the solution for you to ask questions and help you through studying in e-learning mode. I hope that you now know a little bit about what we're doing at our school and our e-learning system. If you have further questions regarding the e-learning or other questions regarding our program, please feel free to give a call or email us at the following address, email elearning at au.edu, by phone 02723-2944, Facebook, Graduate School of e-learning, Twitter, AU e-learning, website, www.elearning.au.edu. Thank you very much for your attention.